Hey, it's uh, February 2nd, 2023. Um, on the last video I did on the uh, the two-year update on the mast antenna, this part of my backyard was all overgrown and unused. Uh, spent the last few weekends clearing this thing out. You get a nice tour of my property too here. I need to do some brush hogging on this side. <laughs> uh, Again, not sure if this is going to focus. I'm pretty sure it isn't. But the end of the other end of the dipole is about 15 to 20 feet off the ground. And it's just tying down to an old telephone pole down here. I'm going to put some raised beds in here. And as a result, I'm going to have to finally raise up the uh, far end of the mast here. I can see I put that little bit of orange there so I can stop walking into the wire. And right now it's tied down to a telephone pole. And running upwards to the mast. So what I'm going to do is use my little auger here. Uh, dig myself a hole. Put up that second post that I've had hanging out for uh, a couple of years or so. And... Uh, make this thing so it is not a choking hazard and so I don't drop anything else on my guy wire. So, all right, that should be deep enough. So uh, let's go build a mast. All right, pardon the mess in the garage, but here's our basic materials. Uh, we have a piece of a chain link fence top rail, 10 foot, and that is actually nestled inside of a piece of 10 foot, one and a quarter inch PVC. Um, you can see they are a very snug fit. Uh, this is the way I had them stored, and I don't really need to take them apart to uh, do what I got to do. All right, so about five, six inches from the top of the PVC rail, and I have slid the metal out of the way, so I won't be drawing through metal. We're going to uh, drill a hole to attach an eye bolt. This is what the paracord will run through, and how you'll tension the uh, antenna. Alrighty, the eye bolt is now attached, and then we're, now we're just going to slide this thing out so it's about 15 feet long overall length, and uh, screw the PVC into the metal fence rail using self-tapping screws. Alright, this is the only time I use a measuring tape in the whole project, and that is basically just to mark where the uh, end of the 10 foot piece of pipe should be. Just measuring from the end down 10 feet because there's no need to screw into a uh, pipe that isn't there. And I've got maybe four foot overlap on the pipe. So I'm gonna uh, fasten this together. All right, self tappers are in. I used a total of five and just kind of offset them a little bit so they're not all running in a straight line. Don't want any cracks. Last step is uh, Use an EMT clip. We're going to screw that onto here, and that'll be basically just give me a place to tie the paracord off to. And you do want that kind of on the same side as your eye ring, might make it a bit easier. But just before you raise it, make sure you do run your guy wire through the eye ring. And I'll just show you the uh, little tie off here with the EMT clip. And I'm getting ready to uh, shove this thing in the hole and see how it looks. I gotta switch to vertical for a bit here. Got the mast planted. I'm gonna guess that's probably 14 feet to the top. 10 feet plus whatever metal sticking out of there. Yeah, I wanna buried it. Didn't use any cement. I just uh, had a busted up piece of uh, four by four that I crammed in there with it. That is plenty solid and once this clay hardens, um, it'll be as good as cement. So the only thing left to do is uh, pull this little string, take out the slack, and call it a day. I got it tied off to the EMT clip. You want to make sure you save your slack rope in case you ever have to lower it. Definitely want to tie it up so it's off the ground so you don't get stuck in your lawnmower. And see if I can back up enough where you can actually see it. Probably not, but uh, that did raise the end of the uh, this end of the dipole significantly. And now I can walk through, get to the garden without having to duck underneath that guy wire. And if I back the truck up here with any fertilizer, we won't have any issues. So 
uh, piece this thing all together. I hope this helped somebody out. And if it did, please hit that subscribe button and you have yourself a great day. Yeah, I know I said I was done, but I just want to give a quick look from here. Um, that is the lower and shorter end of the off-center die-fold. The pipe in front of me is the main mast. And down yonder in the front garden is our long end of the dipole. So just give you an overview of how much area I'm taking up here. It is about 180 feet for the antenna itself. So call it 190 near 200 between the two outer poles. All right, have a good one. K4RZM, in case you're looking for me. Bye.